न्यू एज पेरेंटिंग प्रेजेंटेड बाय मानव रचना हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ न्यू एज पेरेंटिंग आई एम गेटिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ ई मेल्स एंड कॉल्स वेर पीपल आर आस्किंग दैट वाई दिस सीरीज वी आर वी नॉट द गुड पेरेंट्स डू वी रियली हैव टू चेंज बट वॉट इज़ द पर्पज ऑफ दिस सीरीज इज टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गोइंग रॉन्ग वाई देर इज अ कम्युनिकेशन गैप एंड वॉट वी कैन डू मोर टू एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ बेटर बॉन्ड विद आर किड्स something is changing and that change is in the attitude of these kids maybe as parents our pressures are being downloaded on these children you know somewhere we need to understand what were our, our belief systems what was right for us at that age when we were young or maybe now may not be right or true for these kids so there is a need for an open soul searching time to move over to soul searching Examinations are a part and parcel of a student life but in the last decade or so examination time has become a real battlefield and most stressful time of a child's life More than the performance the child is stressed about the outcome of the exams and the after effects of it on his life If he doesn't get the desired results his reputation with the teachers peers and parents goes for a toss His freedom is curbed and eventually they start disliking examination. At times the stress levels are so high that the child goes through panic attacks just before an exam which can lead to bad performance in spite of knowing the subject. What are the real fears of these children? Let's explore. And as you all understand soul searching is an open discussion an open forum where we talk from the heart and today as promised we have two special guests we have uh, mrs neelu sharma who is a vice principal of manav rashna school gurgaon and we have hiteshi kamat who is a class 9th student of manav rashna school a very warm welcome to both of you uh mrs neelu we start with you uh, yes this is the time when exams are just round the corner and there is a stress vector which we've always uh, felt that it is there in today's time you know when the things have shifted cbse has really opened its doors and it has become very easy mm-hmm. do you still find a lot of pressure on kids um, pressure actually is not there if the child has um, time uh, done the time management well for himself or herself now what happens is they are cce as you know is an initiative of uh, cbsc and cce means continuous comprehensive evaluation so it is a continuous thing it is not a days thing so we start from the beginning of the session till the end of the session if the child has managed him his or her time well submitted the fas on time and is regular with his or her studies the child will not face any problem at the end of the session and moreover cbsc has again divided the syllabus into two terms the term 1 syllabus and the term 2 syllabus now the child no longer has to study the entire syllabus at the end of the session so cbsc has made things easier for them provided they uh, basically follow what is being told to them mm, and they've been they, studying they've been regular the if whole if they are regular year. they would face no problems hiteshi <laughs> it's easier said than done exam fear is always there at the time of the exam maybe on the day of the exam we might suddenly experience a panic attack hmm. we start shivering we we'll, uh, we have a dry mouth and we'll be like i am not we, we'll throw tran- tantrums and all at the end of the day and after giving the exam we'll realize it wasn't it was, a big deal it wasn't a big deal i had one last year during my science exam examination shouldn't be taken as an examination mm. it is just a tool to access as to what is what is the level of your knowledge whether you uh, clear the exam you don't clear the exam you get good marks or you don't get good marks see when you sit for an examination that should not be there in your mark the marks or the grade should not be there in your mind you should just go with the aim that yes you have to go sit for the exam give your paper and come back once you have this in your mind you would never ever face this stress this is what we keep on telling the children even if you get 30% or 33% or 40% don't bother about the marks now when they sit for the exam it's the marks keep on working on their mind they want 90% they want 
uh, full they want a plus so if they keep on uh, haggling with the grades or the marks they'll not be able to uh, basically do the exam well no but this then is again this is also easier said than done i'm saying for the parents and for teachers also hiteshi what i would like to ask you is that how many times a parent tells you doesn't matter how many marks you get have they ever said that uh, no is there any teacher who says that it will it will be okay even if you don't clear no not exactly they'll say ki uh, you need to prepare well just do whatever you know but i expect a lot from they you i expect a lot from you the last line yeah, this I is you know like there are few belief systems which we need to see, this work is, on yeah this should come see this should be uh, understood by the child it's not that see if they don't keep the grades in mind they would definitely fare well you keep you can't keep on uh, bothering yourself with the marks and the grades you need to concentrate as to what you have learned but who you are our inspiration see ma'am if we have to look at it mm -hmm. as parents and as teachers we also have our own pressures Definitely. we want our child to do the best uh you know like looking at his perform his or her performance we know the caliber of the child mm -hmm. also a lot of mm -hmm. times and we want to inspire our belief system has been that you know keep on inspiring keep on you know like telling them that you can do it you can do it yeah. but somewhere that might be creating pressure on the child do you feel that way can be can be can be depends upon an individual see every individual is not the same some some children take it very lightly and they do it well some children just bother they are so depressed they they have all sorts of uh, what i saw uh, saw her last uh, exam that she was completely stressed out she was completely stressed out it was very difficult for me to counsel her and make her sit for that 3 hour long paper mm. mother was in a terrible shape that mother could not sleep the entire night she came in the morning saying that uh, hey she is not able to study well i don't know what would she do if she is not able to sit for the exam i am there i'll take her back home mm. so see mother is still understanding so she they have to be because a child the child is going through paper. a panic yes. attack why hiteshi what really happened and what was the subject science no science hmm. and you knew science I, you were in class 8 science eight. is ninth science Achik. is one of my favorite subjects then actually the thing was uh, before the exams it was the first time uh, we'd been we had been uh, we've been giving we were giving the paper but it was not it was coming from the board, board. itself so our science teacher uh, who's our class teacher she was like you need to prepare well study from the sample papers the questions will not be easy they'll twist the question uh most of the questions will be logical lo logical parallel thinking she used all those big big words and we were i was like what if i don't do well what if as a teacher you do once the child gets is into panic and there are a lot of uh, kids who would be wanting to know what to do when we are blank when we see the exam we paper. we at that point in time we counsel them if need be we take them out from the examination hall we give them water we explain it to them not to take it uh, very tough on them give them that breathing space and after maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes if we see that the child is fine we take the child in and then see it's an in house exam we we can even give them the grace time we are not here to torture the child mm. examination is has to be taken an just examination an evaluation, it's, yes. it's just an evaluation so do you feel it's just an evaluation it is not an evaluation <laughs> okay how was it once you were counseled and you were made comfortable and you felt at home you were able to give the paper i was able to give the paper and how was the result the result was okay i guess oh you don't even remember No, I don't want I to remember. I can still feel the fear in her eyes, you know. What if I don't get good marks? What will my mom say? Mom, mom was if supporting <laughs> you completely. <laughs> why would mom say anything? Mom, why this parents, fear? Parents both. No, why? I see There's at one point as parents, after this is a parenting show mm -hmm. and I actually totally believe that parents are trying their level best. I'm not saying whether uh, they are in the right direction or not. That is what we're trying to find out. What really happens? Mm -hmm. parents want to support and i think hiteshi you'll agree your mom was there throughout your yes. mom wanted you to actually get through it and she also said that i'll take you back, back if you're not home. able to she was ready yes it means she, she was, was supporting 
then why the fear that what will she say? You'll always be her darling daughter. Then why the fear? I don't know. It just happened. I was like, I was. This was the first thought that was in my mind. If I don't live up to their expectation, what will she think? Will it change my image in in her eyes? Will I stoop down a level? That's very, very actually sad because you've gone through it and you've also faced other exams after that incident. What you would suggest to all the kids, all your friends out there, that if they have a panic attack, what they should do then and before that also. You know, if they feel that the panic is, you know, growing up, it's happening. It's like boiling within you. What should they do before reaching that examination hall? I remember I threw a tantrum. I said I won't go to school. I will not give the exam. I lay, I lay down on my bed. I I told my mom I'm not getting up. Then when I then after after coercing me after forcing me to come to school and all that, when I finally came to school, I went to the washroom, and I relaxed myself. I you, there's this uh, it's called pranayam, breathe in, breathe out. I It think helps. that that helped. that calmed me down for half an hour and when i went to the examination hall again again it started that is when neelu ma'am came she counseled me for 15 minutes then i went inside gave the exam before giving the exam again i did the breathing exercise which again relaxed me then i gave the exam are our expectations so high uh maybe yes uh see there are a lot of parental pressures now parents have lot parents themselves when they were young had the aspiration of becoming an engineer or a doctor or whatever and for some reason they did not fulfill their goals or their aims so now it comes down to their children they want them to become an engineer they want them to become a doctor but see uh, we need to guide our parents counsel our parents tell our parents that other than these two options of becoming an engineer or a doctor there are lot of other paths that your child can take up but what i feel is that parents are finally gradually opening up to they other they are fields they are but well. then but then they are then not to that extent but right now that she's too young to think about becoming an engineer or a doctor because i ninth, have decided i'm going to become a doctor you've already decided fine ninth and 10th is when they actually start deciding upon their career because 11 12 they need to take in the subject so th this is what we would like to know talk more about that what is the right time to take a call which career to take but before that we'll take a short break stay tuned we'll be back soon so searching today we are talking about examination pressure and before we went for this break we were talking about what is the right time to choose the career the child wants to get into uh so you think 9th 10th are good enough yeah 9th 10th is when we start deciding on whether we want to take in humanities whether we want to take in science or commerce whatever so it's it's just it's a stepping stone 9th 10th and then 11th is when we actually go in for a stream no but so the thing is that's uh, deciding for the subjects but is it that the child is also ready to choose the career no 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 that yeah. is 11th and 12th is when we actually give them career counseling sessions is it uh, you know really necessary to be able to decide what you want in your life no no it's as i told you I've, as i've already told you that if you take in science doesn't mean that you have to stick to science you can switch over to commerce you can switch over to humanities at any point in time so uh, that is not much of an issue but yes see what happens is uh, there is lot of pressure from the parents from the society peers. i feel society, i think from the peers yes, yes from the peers a child because his or her friend has taken in science or commerce the child has to take that or maybe at, as i've told you earlier parents aspirations parents goals because they couldn't fulfill for themselves they want to fulfill through their child now there are children who don't have an aptitude for maths numbers they can't play with numbers so even if you give tell your child or force your child to do maths 
in 11th and 12th he or she will not hmm. be able to do it, it. even if you give good tuitions or give counseling sessions or whatever if the child does not have an aptitude for maths the child will not be able to do it this is what has to be instilled in the parents mind and has to be told to the parents please don't force your child to take in the subjects that you want okay him another or her to thing do. which i would like to ask hitesh is that if it is the subject of your choice which you love the most Yes. Do you have the fear of that subject? No. When you I have to take so. that exam? No. Then you had the ex uh, fear of uh, science test. That was a different situation, I don't know. I yeah, feel because it was of a the uh, parental pressure, pressure and you know somewhere you felt that you have to prove it. Prove myself. I remember ma in ma in our maths exam two three questions were there which were totally out of syllabus and then ma'am had to come later to change the questions totally if she wouldn't have come we would have probably scored less no but then have this faith in the teachers and in the system you know that if there'll be something which will be out of the course you will be saved you are protected you people don't have that kind of faith now somewhere is it that kids in are India, losing faith yeah, they should they should <coughs> understand they should know that the institution is always there to fight for it the maths paper which was tough last term we all uh, institutions wrote a letter to the cbsc and uh, they did up they did their part they knew that it was a bit tough and see exams tough are not there to kill kill yes <laughs> <laughs> exams are just to actually evaluate for yourself i feel exams are not there to evaluate us they are just there to test our memory memory skills how much we can how much we can recap recapitulate and uh, keep contain, it in our mind, yes. contain it in our minds yes. so do you like it or you think there should be a change in the examination system a bit i mean uh, i've been reading about ib schools and schools abroad basically and they have in, in like we we have to memorize huge log page long answers be it science social science anything but over there they have multiple choice questions one word answers fill in the blanks that's all neelu ji what is it you would like to suggest to all the students out there and parents and of course teachers also that how they should be handling these exam stress uh see there are certain things which uh, they need to follow time management is very important the child shouldn't concentrate only or focus only on marks leave aside marks they should once they manage their time well they prepare themselves well throughout the year they submit their essays on time and every day i suppose they need to study an hour hour and a half every day if they are that continuity is there in their uh, studying i don't see any reason to have that stress at the end of the session neelu sharma ji and hiteshi thank you so much for being with us and there is a divine gift a sai kavaj from shirdi sai baba foundation for you thank, thank you. you so much thank you and time now to really understand how to have this power to face any situation any examination any test in our lives we may be as parents trying to actually handle our own pressures but once we learn that we have that power within us to face any situation we might be able to let our child also know and for that spirituality helps so time now to move over to spiritual significance Every being is blessed with eight inherent powers of the soul. One of them is the power to face. Unknowingly we all use this power within us, but unfortunately to face people which leads to animosity and fights. What we need is to use this power to face situations and inner conflicts and fears. Unless or until we learn to face these situations which come in form of tests in our life, they'll keep coming back to us. facing a situation or conflict doesn't mean fighting it gives me an opportunity to evaluate my learnings of life and how well i can use these teachings during facing a situation or conflict i may not be able to solve every situation or test in one go but if i learn to face them i have already passed the real test 
spirituality helps us to understand where we stand as an individual you know once we see what kind of spiritual paths we have we have to evaluate do we have that power in us and if we don't have it how to actually cultivate because when i when my child will see that i am cultivating those paths within me it will automatically get downloaded to that child and they will also understand what is right for them and what is not right for them by my saying that this is not right and this is right for you it may not be actually that strong but once the child sees me doing it he'll also automatically follow so time now for mapping the conflict child's view we do panic during our exams as there are many expectations from family friends and most importantly from myself parents view we try not to pressurize the child and keep the atmosphere stress free but if the child doesn't score we are blamed solution as a parent you need to guide the child towards achieving his or her best potential and to learn to face challenges and tests child's view marks are the deciding factor for my acceptability amongst parents and teachers parents view marks of utmost importance otherwise how will the child survive in this competitive world solution more than marks your child's ability of handling exams in a stress free manner shapes his personality and ability of handling challenges in life child's view if i don't do well in exams my parents will take away all my freedom i can no more be on social media watch tv or chat on phone Parents view internet, social media and phones are the biggest enemies of my child. They distract him, resulting in low grades. Solution. These technology advancements are part and parcel of our society. Except their need to be on these medias. Negotiate with your children to spend certain amount of time for studying. We as parents have a lot of pressures and we as parents always want to do the best for our child but at times you know when something happens in my child's life i'm the one who gets blamed and then i start feeling that am i not the right parent what i need to do is that i need to open up more maybe check my belief systems again and see where i'm going wrong because as a parent i always have to be the first to take that first step yes as an elder it is my duty to actually go up to my child and make it up give that kiss to that child give a hug to your child give that smile because he is still waiting for that beautiful bond which is between you and your child so till the time we meet again enjoy